Hey, welcome to Caddy Wampus Acres. Today, we're gonna introduce you to the whole family and the whole farm. So please stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Jason and this is Caddy Wampus Acres. We are in North Georgia. We are outside Metro Atlanta. And for the gardening folks, I guess that is zone 7B-ish. I don't know. I'm not as good at the gardening end of things. But uh, we're going to show you a little bit about what we do here and who we are. So here is Bojangles. Pedro, what are you doing? Get out of here. Don't be gross. Don't be gross. We got Buford over here walking away because he doesn't want to be flirted with with Pedro. And then the boss daddy over here, Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi, what you doing, dude? Miyagi, what's up, man? Oh, you smell terrible. You smell terrible. Fiona, our mini donkey. Oh, yeah, here, I'm going to pet her. Let's see what happens. I just want to pet you. Like, come on, I just want to pet you. Oh. The name of our farm is Caddy Wampus Acres. For those of you who don't know, the word cattywampus is a southern term for something that's slightly off, slightly crooked, sort of like, sort of like my hat is right now. For something to be cattywampus means that it's not level, a little bit off. And we like to think of ourselves and our farm as being just a little bit off. In a good way though, in a good way. So, a little bit about us. Myself and my wife Lauren, we are both, we both have full-time jobs. We both are police officers, and that keeps us pretty busy. And actually, that's why I am filming this by myself currently, because I'm waiting for my lovely bride to come home. So we have three less hairy parts of this farm that are very important, and that would be our kids. Our kids are Keaton, Hadley, and Ellery. Keaton's 15, he's our football player and our baseball player. Um, good kid. Smart kid. Uh, we have Hadley is our 13 year old. She is our piano player and she is our vegetarian and our pig lover. And Hadley is a beautiful young girl that is so smart. And we have Ellery. She is our little redheaded nine year old and she is our gymnastics expert and our chicken whisperer. Quite sure there's not anyone that's more of a free spirit than Ellery. Quite sure she could go probably days without taking a bath. So <laughs> she's a fun one. So let me show you some of the other creatures we have out here. So Ollie's our mini pig and he's a Juliana. He is a sweet boy. Oh my gosh, those tusks. Come here, buddy. And Ollie is Hadley's uh, pet. Um, oh yeah, oh yeah, get in here. Oh yeah, who like those belly rubs? Whoa, 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 whoa. A little testy, a little testy. But Hadley is our in-house vegetarian, so we are planning on getting meat pigs in the future to raise and butcher. Hadley needs to have her own pig that we are not going to butcher, and that is Ollie. And so this is Ollie. He, he's a friendly dude, and he's always got something to say. He's got a good personality, as you can tell. So if there's any lady pigs out there that are interested, um, just give us a call if you know what I mean. Also on our farm, we have Nigerian dwarf goats. That's, if you couldn't tell, that's what Pedro and Miyagi, our buddies down in the other pen are. And these are our girls. This is our girls' pen. Hey, ladies. What up, girl? Sitting wagging them tails. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We got them ladies up here. Got Tina. Tina. Let's go see the ladies. This is our dough pen. Hello, dough pen. And here, oh, well, hey, Jolene. Jolene was in our, one of our other videos, and she's a jerk. And as you get to know her, you'll realize she's a jerk. This is Margie, sweet, sweet Margie. And her girls, we got Tina. Tina, Tina's so friendly. Look at Tina. She likes to be, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And we got, oh, we got Peyton. Oh, hey, Pepe. What up, girl? And we got them little baby girls. These are little does in training. Oh my, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I told you she's a dirt. Gotta watch that one. These are our little girls. Got little Eleanor over here, little Phyllis. 
What's up, Phyllis? What's up, Phyllis? Hey, girl. What you doing? Hey. Oh, yeah, they're sweet girls. Got them big old bellies. What you doing, that big old belly? And this, you keep rubbing on me. So, the point of us having these goats are, let me take a look here. Let me see what you got. Let me see what got going on over here. What's going on over there? Got some odds? Got some full odds over here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at them odds. So, we have our Nigerian dwarf goats for milk. We, we drink the milk. We make goat cheese. We make, well... Lauren is our goat, uh, Lauren is actually our goat soap master, and so, um, she's been, she's at, no, don't get me wrong, she doesn't make soap out of goat, she makes soap out of goat's milk, and, um, she really killing it, and, so yeah, so, our purpose is, is for the goat's milk, and, oh my gosh, she keeps rubbing on her, goats, you cannot stop for two seconds without these bombs rubbing all over. Oh, oh, we got a fight over here. Fight! You cannot stop for two seconds with goats before they start rubbing, butting their heads into you and stuff. And then over here, let me show you what we got over here. Over here are our chickens. They are in a run right now because we were protecting them, protecting these lovely ladies and gents from our um, hawks and everybody we have in the area. Chickens are so delicious that everybody in the neighborhood wants to eat them. And so we don't name these hens. We uh, got over that a little while ago, but we do got Big Daddy Coco right there, Coco Crooked Toe. We got Uncle Rico. Got Mo Meave with the master plan. And then if you can see over here, let me show you. Let me show you. Over there on the other side is little Luna. Luna's our bantam, and she just does what she wants. We can't stop her. You think these little four inch squares are gonna stop Luna? Uh-uh, it ain't happening. So that's some of our animals out here. Look are you serious? What is going on here? I like them socks, I like them pizza socks. What is going on? Just rubbing them all over. Look, would you just look at this? Would you look at this? Dude, look at that sweetness. Grandma Margie trying to go mess up this little cuddle fest. Don't let, don't let her mess up your cuddle fest. This part's a little bit more serious, and this is the part that's a little bit harder for me to get through. Um, this is our red maple, but um, this tree is planted. We planted this right at the edge of our house, at the corner of our house, and uh, this tree symbolizes a lot. This symbolizes my mom. Uh, the kids call her Mimi, and. Mimi's the reason that we are able to have a house without a mortgage. My mom passed away in 2014 of cancer and um, was one of the most amazing women ever. But she was it. She did make it possible for us to be able to have a house without debt. She's the reason we are here. Um, so this is Mimi's tree, and and this tree will be here forever. And it'll we we. We never walk past this tree without thinking of her. It is my favorite time of day when I get my wife back from work. Hey, girl. Hey, what you doing, girl? Looking mighty good. See, that's what I'm talking about right here. This nonsense. That's what I'm talking about. Get that smooth, girl. Oh, yeah. That's not what I meant. Oh. No, give me a kiss. <laughs> hey. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Oh, looking. We homestead to pet donkeys. No. We homestead because um, we want to be more self sufficient and do stuff for ourselves. We like growing things and learning things and. Being good stewards and um, caring for the animals. It's a great hobby, but we also, you know, hope to make it our lifestyle and potentially, hopefully someday, you know, retirement or do this for our living. Oh, yes. That's deep. That's real deep. Yes. Last but not least on the animal front are these goofy dogs, man. Got Milo, 
Milo, hey dude, hey, hey, what'd you do, man? What'd you do wrong? Would you do something wrong? A Lulu, Lulu is about 150 years old, human years, and uh, she still acts like a puppy all the time. Isn't that right, girl? Isn't that right, Lulu? That's right, little girl. Oh, look at that face. Look at that face. And we also have these two creatures. This little red creature here is Toby, and that little, little other one here is Lucy. And I would say, between the four of these dogs, we maybe have, I don't know, maybe one brain between all of them. You guys wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? Yeah. Butter! Who ate the butter? Lucy? Get over here. Did you eat the butter? Lucy. 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 Oh my gosh, you ate the butter. Oh. Let me let me let me show you something. Let me let me show y'all something here that why I have a problem with these dogs sometimes. Lulu, did you do something wrong? No, I don't look like it. Let me see, who did something wrong? Milo! Right, let me see what you got behind, what you hiding back there? Oh, that's a, that's a gigantic loaf of bread. This dude just <laughs> ate my loaf of bread. So our homestead is five acres, and although we would love, I can't come if you want to. although we would love to have like 20 or 100 acres, we don't, and it's not necessary, and it would just be, a lot more to work. With us both having full-time jobs, I don't think it would be very easy for us to do. So right now we got five, that's what we work with, but it doesn't mean you can't do it on four, three, two, a half an acre, it doesn't matter. I think anybody can do it. It's just you gotta do a lot yourself. And um, like Lauren said, you gotta be resourceful. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and ring that bell at the bottom. We'll see you next time at Candy Wampus Acres. Bye.